Hey guys, it's Eddie back with another review. This time with G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra Crimson Neo Viper. First off, I'd like to thank my aunt, Auntie E. Thank you so much for this. Um, she got it. I was sitting there watching TV and I thought, I need to get in myself a Neo Viper. Right, right when I thought that, the doorbell rang and she walks in and she gets me a Crimson Neo Viper from Target. So thank you so much, Auntie E. I, thank you. Um, so let's get, look at the packaging. As you can see, it says G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra. Uh, the Neo, picture of a Neo Viper, but they turned it red to be Crimson Neo Viper. Um, which I like the coloring a lot better. Um, red background. It's your standard G.I. Joe packaging. Uh, Cobra logo, Crimson Neo Viper. Cobra Royal Guard on the back. It doesn't have a little dog tag thingy, which is kind of disappointing, but, uh, it does still have join the team gi joe.com has like a quick character bio the standard bio of all the toy line and then it's got the other figures in the wave i believe this is either wave two or three i'm not positive it might be wave three but uh let's set that back and take a look at the figure itself so if you pull him off the base and take out his accessories which it is your standard base it says Crimson Neo Viper on the front instead of Neo Bi Viper. Um, just standard G.I. Joe base, uh, Cobra logo on the side. If you take a look at the figure, it is just, uh, it is the Neo Viper mold, but in a beautiful crimson paint. I absolutely love the paint. Honestly, this may be one of the best paint applications I've seen on a 3 and 3 fourth inch figure, if not on a figure altogether. I just personally love the paint looks so cool really glossy and red just awesome now these guys are meant to guard cobra or the high members of cobra so they, they do look pretty royal and the the differences are of course the the paint job and look at all those accessories he has if you're counting this snake and the ca container separately and you're counting the base which i always do then he has 11 accessories that is a crazy amount. It's good, it's just a lot of accessories, which is a great thing. Um, so, uh, the detail, like I said, is really great. You can, uh, you can see his face looks really awesome. His vest, everything looks just awesome. He has a black Cobra logo on the side um, of his arm, and it's just really great. He does still have the hole in the back, even though nothing pegs onto there. Um, but it's because of the original Neo Viper. A really cool touch is that if you untab the sides of the vest, it does come off. And he looks really cool with it off. It's, um, he, he looks like he's ready to fight um, and take on some G.I. Joes. So it looks really nice like that. I'm going to show off the articulation like that nothing's really hindered except for if you have this on it slightly hinders the head articulation but everything else is uh, regular the arms it's your standard gi joe articulation head can rotate 360 degrees slightly look up and down the arms go in and out rotate 360 degrees bends at the elbow rotate 360 degrees at the elbow and rotate 360 degrees at the hand um the waist can rotate 360 degrees, look up and down, I mean, kind of move up and down. The legs go in and out. Don't rotate at the bicep, which stinks, but oh well. Bends at two points on the knee, rotates at the foot, and bends at the foot. So, really great articulation. Of course, all the Jad Joe Rise of Cobra figures have great articulation. Um, still, I just like to point out how cool he looks. I know, I'm just trying to get that across. He just looks amazing. Just a great figure. On to the accessories. This will take a while. My only complaint with the accessories is that they don't store anywhere. And I mean, he has 11 accessories. He should have some storage. But absolutely no storage. You can kind of improvise with the, the vest and kind of stick things in the vest. You know, trying to like stick it through the collar and stuff. But it's not official and it makes it look really stupid. So you kind of got to have the accessories to the side. Um, he has the, the this like big staff with a point at the end. Um, looks like so he can like guard Cobra basically. 
fits into both hands really well. You can make him double wield it, I guess you could say, like, holding it this way. He comes with a small pistol. Looks really nice. This is the standard gray. Can fit on either hand, but better in the gun hand. You do gotta kinda fidget with him to get the weapons in there, but once they're in there, they fit very snugly. And you're not gonna have a problem with them fitting loose. He comes with two hatchets, or whatever you want to call them. Looks really nice. I do like the hatchets. Fit in either arm. In either hand, I should say. Looks really cool. You can, if you want, stick them in the back of the collar. But it gives it a pretty silly look, so I try to stay away from that. I also don't want to bend the, the best. Because it is a soft plastic. Um, it comes with a little, almost a little butcher's knife. Looks really nice. Um, you know, it almost looks like a butter knife. But, you know, maybe he wants to make some toast. Maybe he wants to make a sandwich. And he can do that. You know, he's a cobra. Um, it comes with a, uh, like, machine gun kind of rifle thing. Surprisingly, it's my least favorite accessory. Because it can't really get in his hand that well because of the clip. As you can see, like... As you can see, the clip is pretty close to the handle itself, so it's hard to get, the get it in there, and then you can't really do much with the articulation once it's in there, so you kind of try to stay away from that one. And it's almost snapping off right here, and I just got it today, and I didn't do anything to it. It's just so skinny this way. He comes with... This is actually a cool little accessory. He comes with a uh, case, a clear case, and there is a... King Snake in there. That's a really cool touch. He can't hold it in his hand if you'd like him to. Um, I don't know why I sound like a flight attendant right now, but <sighs> can't make him hold it. Looks pretty cool. Um, I do like it. It's a cool little touch. And then of course he comes with the oversized guns, which at first I hated. Now I'm, they're fun. They're fun guns. Fun gun. Um, does fit into his hand well. Press the button on red button on the top and it shoots. It shoots pretty far, for that matter. Um, so overall, definitely pick this guy up. If you're gonna get one Neo oh, Neo Viper, get this one. Um, I might love it, uh, follow what J Train 997 did and actually pick up two because they're awesome and it'll look really cool on a GI Joe display. Um, I'd like to promote somebody, a friend of mine, Review 64. I'm sure you're all subscribed to him. But he's almost to 1,000 subscribers. So subscribe to him here. I'll have the annotation. And just check him out. So stay tuned for more reviews. Sorry this review went so long. And this is Eddie, signing out.